guys, Manny over at Auto Sales Master, and I got some requests to do um, a video on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the new 2017 Volkswagen product. Um, we're going to be going through it. We're going to be inside a 2017 Volkswagen GLI, which I reviewed before. Uh, we're going to have a Nexus 5X for the Android platform, and we're going to have an iPhone 6S to go through the iPhone setup. I'm going to pair both phones, I'm going to plug them in, and I'm going to show you what you can do with each. Uh, it's going to be a fun video, kind of short. Stay tuned, and let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're here inside the car, and you can see there the new MIB2 infotainment system, which is capable of uh, doing the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We're going to be going over. The USB port is located right down here. You can see it right there. So that's what we're going to be plugging in the, um, the iPhone in a moment. So let's see how that works. Okay, so first things first. Um, the one thing that I do recommend for this is using the cable that came with your phone. I'm gonna be using um, an iPhone 6S, so it's preferable that you use the, the original cable. There are a lot of aftermarket cables that would work, but the problem is they don't work all the time. They work on and off, they get disconnected all the time. So you're gonna find people that said, yeah, that's not a problem, it works. It does, but they get disconnected and they give you all kinds of uh, problems. So if I've already connected my cable um, to the USB 2, obviously, as you can see, this is not the original cable because it's not white, but this one happens to work for me um, if you want to see the whole thing. It's actually a retractable uh, Griffith cable that I can just kind of put away like this and I can just bring it out. I bought this one on Amazon and it, it happens to work great. I use it here for all the demos that we do um, to connect any phones. And then the cool thing about this one is it has an Android end and an iPhone. So there's the iPhone. Then you take this off. Let me take it off here. There you go. So you take that off, and it has um, an Android end here and the iPhone. So obviously, we're going to be setting it up this way so that we can have the iPhone connected. I'm going to connect the iPhone, and then we're going to go through uh, what happens on the screen. All right. So uh, the moment you plug in the iPhone, this uh, screen comes up here, and you hit connect. The nice things about the iPhone is, and the, the reason why I'm doing it first, you don't need to download any apps or do anything. Pretty much you just connect it, and right away it, it got into the map. Majority of the times it goes into this um, uh, home screen here. So you can see here they you have your phone, your music, maps, messages, you know, now playing, you've seen it all, so I'm not gonna go through them. So basically uh, there are a few things here that you can have. You can, you can have another screen and have like Spotify, or Pandora, iHeartRadio, any of those things work. I just happen to have this iPhone and it doesn't have anything on it pretty much. Um, another thing that happens also, once you plug it in, uh, the phone gives you a message that you need to allow. So um, I hit allow already and you get this blue bar on the top that is telling you that it's connected to Apple CarPlay. So don't freak out if you see a blue bar on your phone and you don't know what it is. So this is really simple. The phone takes you to the phone. The map is the biggest thing. And this is like, for instance, the car, this car has a built-in navigation, but right now we can use the navigation from the iPhone. So we can use um, Apple Maps pretty much. Apple Maps for iPhones, Google Maps for Android. So you go in there, you can also uh, access Siri. I don't have, uh, have it activated on this phone, but if I hold it here, um, Siri Very comes up. requires an internet connection. Obviously, like I said, this is a phone that I, that I used to test, so it doesn't have um, Siri. So that's Apple CarPlay. There's really not much to it. It's really simple. It's a clean um, user interface, kind of what we used to to see it on an iPhone. So you don't have to learn anything new. Um, I'm going to plug in the, um, the Android here in a moment so you see what that looks like and what, what, uh, what you need to do before you um, connect the Android. Now, one thing with the iPhone though that I will tell you guys, I did get a little bit of issue with Verizon iPhones. Don't ask me why, for whatever reason, every time you connect a Verizon iPhone, actually, I shouldn't say that, it's not every time. Majority of the times you connect a Verizon iPhone, um, for whatever reason, it doesn't wanna connect and they connect and then they get disconnected at times and you, you unplug it and plug it back in and they work again. I had a lot of customers with that issue. They went back to Verizon and of course Verizon blamed Volkswagen and Volkswagen blamed Verizon. I don't know who to blame for this, but 
every other company works. AT&T phone works just fine. Um, T-Mobile, Unlock phones, it's just Verizon phones, iPhones for whatever reason, tend to give us a little bit of trouble at times. Um, but that's something that, I mean, you're gonna have to kind of play with and see if it works for you. So let's connect the Android here and see what happens. All right, and the Android setup is a little bit different. Um, there is one app you need to download. Um, it's called Android Auto, and you can get it right from the Play Store. This is the uh, the icon. That's what it looks like. There you go, right here. So it's Android Auto. You download it. You you set it up. You know, you go through the prompts, and that's all you need to have. You don't need to have the app um, open in order to have it working. You just need to have it installed on your device. Um, Android Auto on the Google Play Store. All right, so I plugged in the um, the Android already, the Nexus 5X, and nothing happened when I plug it in. That's probably because I had an iPhone in. So what I need to do is you go into this menu, hard key here, and this brings up this new screen here. This is where you have all your settings. Um, we're gonna hit on App Connect, and App Connect now is gonna tell you that we have a Nexus 5X connected, and then we're gonna hit the Android Auto screen there and hit OK. You may get a prompt or two on the phone. So I have the phone down here. So right, this is giving you a message to check your device. I have the phone here, right, connected. So we just have to go through a few prompts because we know uh, we get a, a lot of prompts on Android, but we go through it, we hit accept there. And then the phone goes into this Android Auto uh, screen. And I, to be honest with you, you can't really get out of there. You can't do much. You, you, if you try to get out, like you see I'm doing right now, it kind of just loops back to the same screen, so you can't you can't get out. So you can't text or call with the phone on your ear, or Spotify, or watch YouTube, or whatever you do is Instagram, Facebook. You can't do any of that anymore um, because of Android Auto just kind of takes uh, command and puts everything on your car. Another thing that happens is um, on the phone here. Let me wake it up here so you can see it. I got a notification. Um, it's right here. So I'm on the lock screen. That's why it's showing me things. But it's telling me that um, a Bluetooth device uh, connected to the car. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, they both use the um, the Bluetooth for the phone call. So every time you plug in a phone, whether it's an Android or an iPhone, um, the phone is going to turn on uh, Bluetooth automatically and kind of connects you to the car. So that's going to happen automatically. The phone calls go through Bluetooth still. They do not go through the wire. Okay, so we get this screen here, and it's kind of telling me how how to to do the uh, how, how it works basically. It's a tutorial. I'm gonna hit skip. You can hit show me now, and it will tell you kind of you know what to do. We hit skip, and it takes me to the home screen. So this is the the if you're familiar with Google Now, you will get it. So this is the main screen for Android. Where the iPhone kind of looks more like an iPhone screen, the Android's kind of a different uh, setup. On the left here, you have the key for your maps. Um, unfortunately, this Android that I have connected On is also. Home, there's the usual traffic. There you go. The route via Southern State Parkway and Belt Parkway is still the fastest. All right, so it seems like I got home in 40 minutes. Um, Unfortunately, this phone that I have here is kind of empty. It's also a test phone, so it doesn't have a lot of things in it. So I'm, you're not going to see a lot of notifications. Of, like if I go here to home, you see because we just opened the map, it gives me the map uh, uh, the map information in there. But if you have you know, a test message or something like that, it will also give it to you there. You can access it through there as well. So map, again, being the, the biggest thing, this is um, Google Maps, so it's going to work great. And I've used it on the road. It works very, very, very good. There's really no issues with the with the system as you drive. Of course, if you have a good internet connection, because remember, all this is using your data. It's it's right from the phone. It's using your data. So that's what the map looks like. Um, so if you hit the home here, it takes you home again. The phone is the phone calls again. I don't have much in there. Um, and this home this one here acts as your music so um, I have all my music music on Google Play um, so this is accessing Google Play right now if you have Spotify Pandora what's gonna happen is when you click this 
is going to be they're going to be over here they're going to be listed here so you're going to have mlb radio pandora iHeartRadio, radio um uh, pretty much any of the um big music apps um work for this and the good thing is if it's if it doesn't show you can always use it through bluetooth you can always disconnect the phone and use it through bluetooth um so that, that you also have that capability so going back here to google play music again uh, this is what I was playing last, so it kind of just goes there. You can uh, click here, for instance, and see a list of all your songs. And just tap on the song, and, and that's it. It'll play. And you can also skip songs right here. So that works really well. Um, it, 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 it's a very, very good system. Another thing you can do when you saw the, the song getting changed here is, on the steering wheel here, um, you have the controllers to go through the tracks pretty much so you can tap here and then this is going to change to the next uh song so it's pretty good this um speedometer kind of looking key here just takes you out of um out of carplay and android auto so it brings me back to the home screen and now i can go do whatever i want to do now what's happening right now is even though i don't have um the phone connected uh, well I have it connected but it's not activated on the screen I'm still charging the phone I'm still charging it there you go so it's charging and I can go back here to it anytime I want and now what was an Android um, an Apple CarPlay hard key before it turned into an Android Auto so there you have it so that is um, Apple CarPlay there's really uh, hey, Apple I'm CarPlay here. and Android Auto there's really not much to it. It's really simple. It's a very clean user interface. You are on the fastest route despite usual. I this missed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so there you have it. That's it. That's the uh, the video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys. So that's the system. Very simple. It is a nice user interface. Um, any questions you may have, please let me know. Any request, um, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next.